Hi, Hi there, and, and welcome, welcome to, to the 23rd episode of the CHS Pulse. I'm Shannon DeGoyer. And I'm Carter Landy. we got a great episode lined up for you guys today. <laughs> we sure do, Shan. So to round out our three-week series on extravagant students traveling to extraordinary places, we have Spencer Pendleton taking a year to go to Patagonia and Hawaii to explore life outside of the classroom. Spencer, I'm a senior at the high school of the Chathams. Um, and next year I'm not going to college. Instead of going to college, I am going to Patagonia. It's a region in Chile and Argentina where Argentina and Chile share territories in Patagonia. It's like a mountain range and I'm going to be there for 90 days mountaineering and sea kayaking. I really just wanted to try something new and experience something other than school before I go to college. So I have, I have like a taste of what's out there before I do another four years of studying and working. Since ne next year I'm only going to be in Patagonia for a semester. I'm also going to Hawaii for a couple months and I'm going there through a program called uh, Woof, Woof or Woofing. It stands for Worldwide Organization of Farmers and um, I'm going to be living on a farm in Hawaii and working and hanging out and chilling with the cows and growing pineapples and cocoa beans. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I really don't know what I want to do yet with my life or what I want to do in college, so I, this is like the best alternate experience, alternate path for me, and I also love hiking and the outdoors and all that jazz, jazzy jazz. It's a miracle, even if it's in my Car, what's up with the wall on the math wing? Oh, you must be talking about the senior mural. Oh, that's it. Let's take a gander. I think we hear the words high school and we remember one or two epically great moments of these four years. And that's all well and good, but I think a lot of us forget about the little things that made us who we are. These things that define our class, the class of 2014. I've been in the Girl Scouts since I was in kindergarten and uh, I just got my silver award and I took off a year of being a Girl Scout because I didn't know what I wanted to do for my gold award and then one day I came up with the idea with the mural after talking to my gold award advisor Mr. Grow and um, I ended up having 156 hours towards this project so it's been a lot of work. Um, so the design for the mural um, basically encompasses all of our high school experiences that me and Grace and a couple other people put together. So we tried to incorporate the different clubs at CHS and sports, um, academics, the theater and the arts and drama, while also including current events. So the top of the mural represents everything within the high school and the bottom of the mural represents everything we live through. Yeah, so if you stroll past the mural in you know, 20 years or something too, you'll, like, you'll see the little sandy on the ground and down by the, the bottom of the mural and you say, like, oh yeah, that was the class that was still in the shore. I think even if the images on the mural don't speak to you, at least if you see the names on the border and you'll just like, think of that person in your mind, you'll be like, oh, like, that was my class. Well, next year's class and the year for that's class is going to have some wall and many years to come. Shannon, what do you listen to when you're alone in the car? I'm going to be honest, it's the Jordan Sparks version of the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> wow, didn't see that one coming. Let's see what people around the school listen to when they're alone. What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? Uh, peanut, peanut butter jelly, jelly time. time. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? I have a song on my phone called Shake That Jelly. What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Uh, I have to say, uh, Burning Up by the Jonas Brothers. What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? I have the Powerpuff Girls theme song. 
What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? Uh, hey, this question's crazy, but on my iPhone, it's Call Me Maybe. This is crazy, but here's my number. The most embarrassing song on my iPod would probably be um, There's a Party in My Tummy by Yo Gabba Gabba. Bi uh, Boyfriend by Big Time Rush. What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? Well, this is my wife's old phone, and it's uh, All Single Ladies by Beyonce. What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? The Pokemon TV show theme song. What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? Um, the Smosh Legend of Zelda rap. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing song on your phone? The electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, radiation, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays. And now, we have a short horror film made by two of our very own, Paige Pendergrast and Julia Bloomer. We advise that those with sensitive epilepsy not watch this, and those who are easily frightened not watch it as well. <laughs> well, that's it for the 23rd episode of The Pulse. Thanks for joining us. And tune in next week for another round of fun.